that just the way we like it. Green leader to control. Control here. What do you got for me, Russo? Clear sailing. It's an awfully lonely little corner of the galaxy. Wish you were here beside me. In your dreams, Green Leader. Let's do it. Hello, morning season. Green leader, we're reading something out there. Sector nine. Ghosts in the machine control, but I'm checking here. No, nada, nothing. You let your imagination run wild. What the hell? Control Russo's off my scope. Moving in. Green two, something is definitely out there. Nothing, Russo. It can't be. You're all mine. Can't shake him, he's got lock. He's got lock. Ah! You need help. He's only yours, Dragon Leader. Goodbye. To unknown contact, this is an unarmed Confederation medical transport evacuating civilian refugees. We will heave to and prepare to be boarded. You must break off your attack. The border worlds take no prisoners. Mayday! This yeah, let's leave a little something to remember us by. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyed our headquarters. Mayday! 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 Fighting the flash pack. I'd call that a successful test. Let's go. Welcome to order. You will shortly have an opportunity to voice your opinions of the recent horrific occurrences that have taken place near the border worlds. But before we do that, I thought it fit to invite the commander of the Strategic Readiness Agency to address the House, Admiral Tolwyn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Ladies and gentlemen of the Great Confederation Assembly, as commander of the SRA, I'm charged with many duties. Foremost of these is the protection of the frontiers of our galaxy. Unfortunately, I stand before you today with very few answers. What do you mean, few The answers? random acts of violence taking place in the border world still remain a mystery. It's renegade pirates, I tell you. No, it's worse. The border world's militia is behind it. Let me remind you that during the long war with the Kilrathi, the border worlds were a loyal ally. And now they attack us. Let us not allow lust for revenge to cloud our thinking. We mustn't forget who our friends are. However, we must also keep in mind that during the war, 
certain social and political changes were taking place along the frontier. Now, whether or not these changes relate to the senseless acts of terrorism remains to be seen. But see to it, I will. I can promise you that. You are aware that the increase in these incidents has raised the tension between us and the border worlds to a dangerous level. But before this august body commits itself to a grave and irrevocable action, I have asked the Admiral to investigate and report back to us in two weeks. Admiral, we go with the blessing of this assembly and of every peace-loving person in the galaxy. Thank you, sir. In two weeks, we shall vote on war or peace. This concludes our live coverage of Admiral Coleman's address to the Great Assembly. Barbara. Thanks, Bob. These next two weeks will tell if we have any hope of resolving the tension that are growing at the very fringes of our society. Good evening. This has been the TCN Nightly News. I'm Barbara Myers. Gotcha. Oh, give me a house kitchen. I haven't served one of those since the war ended. Hey, pal. Spare the price of a drink for an old vet? You were a flyer? Oh, uh, yeah. I flew off the TCS Liberty. Oh. Do me a favor. Why don't you get out of here and get yourself a meal instead? Hey, thanks, pal. I'll do that. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Things just ain't the same since the war ended. You got a lot of guys coming home and just not enough jobs to go around. Yeah, well, we all make our own way. Wow, and you have the skills and the brains to be doing something better than hustling me for money. Well, you ungrateful piece of... I fought to kill Rothy for hicks like you. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Things just ain't the same since the war ended. I got a lot of guys coming home and just not enough jobs to go around. We all make our own way. You a vet? Yeah. Wait a minute, hey, I've seen your picture before. Um, hold on, you're... Thanks for the drink. Hey, wait, honey, what, what, no, honey, I'm what? not waiting. Don't call me honey. These pigs are all the same. <laughs> I guess women out here on the edge of nowhere can't appreciate a civilized man. Sure they do. When they meet one. <laughs> Good to see you too, Colonel. Or, or should I say Farmer Lair. Glad you could fit me into your busy schedule. It's a peaceful life. Hmm? I've always said you're either an earthworm or an eagle. So what, you must have been flying since the last since time Since you got it. lucky on that bombing run on Kilra? Yeah, of course I'm still flying. What else is there? Beats tromping around in fertilizer. We know maniac. Maybe tromping around in fertilizer is what I want to do. Maybe after putting my life on the line, day after day for all those years, hearing the crunch my feet make on real dirt is what I want. Well, it sounds like you memorized that speech. Good for you. Well, hey, do as I ask. Nothing more. Anybody gonna stop this? Not my problem. Maybe you should go over and tell him who's boss, Colonel War Hero. I don't need to prove myself in some barroom brawl. 
Yeah. Maybe they'll kill each other. We'd all be better off. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, what's this important matter you had to discuss? <laughs> Colonel Christopher Blair of the Confederation Space Force Reserve, it's my duty to inform you you're being recalled to active military service. Haven't you heard, Maniac? The war is over. They sent me out here to get you. Who did? How should I know? Somebody high up. No, they, they don't tell majors everything, you know. You know, after all the years I've spent in con... You know, I'll never understand Confed command decisions anyway. Why they would put an aging earthworm back in the cockpit. You know, why I'm not a colonel. You know, a guy gets lucky, one mission happens to vanquish an enemy we've been fighting for eons. When do we leave? Oh... Uh, Oh, I've, I've arranged for a couple of fighters. They're waiting in the port. Let's go. Think you can remember how to get this baby off the ground? Huh? Oh! <laughs> nice left off! Uh, for a dinosaur. <laughs> Been a few eons since you held a flight stick, huh, Colonel? Oh, or did you find some sand princess to hold it for you back there? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Maniac? No, yeah, I know. But you can't say you haven't missed my sparkling repartee just a little. This is the way you treat all your friends? You just remember you're not my friend. Oh, that's obvious. You're lucky I don't kill you right now. Let him go. I don't see where this is your concern, mister. I'm prepared to make it my concern. You're gonna wish you never met me. I already do. <laughs> Personally, I can't wait until we meet again. Of course, I would have backed you up if you tried anything. Oh, you sit. Is he gone? Come on! Come on, pal! So what was the important matter you wanted to discuss? <laughs> da, 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 da. Colonel Christopher Blair, Confederation Space Force Reserves. It's my duty to inform you, you are being recalled to active military service. <laughs> Haven't you heard, maniac? The war is over. They sent me here to get you. Who sent you? Who sent me? How should I know? Somebody high up. They don't tell majors everything, you know. And you think with all the years I put in of service, well, I'll never understand Confed command decisions anyway. I mean, why they put an aging earthworm back in the cockpit, why I'm not a colonel, you know, just because a guy gets lucky on one mission, happens to vanquish an enemy we've been fighting for eons. When do we leave? Leave. Oh, I, I arranged for a couple fighters. They're, they're waiting in the port. Let's go. Let's go. Think you can remember how to get this baby off the ground? Huh? Oh. <laughs> nice left off. Uh, for a dinosaur. Been a few eons since you held a flight stick, huh, Colonel? Or, or did you find some sand princess to hold it for you back there? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Maniac. No, yeah, I know. Uh, but you can't say you haven't missed my sparkling repartee just a little. Who was that guy? How did he know your name? Uh, I wish I knew. I'd love to get my hands on whoever he is. Did you see the movie pulled back there? You called me a hot dog, right? Well, that wasn't hot doggy, maniac. That was the move of a true master. Is that the victory? Can you believe it? 
It's an Orville Museum now. Relic of the war. Like some farmers I know. Probably got a plaque right over your bunk. Magnificent, aren't they? I bet you wish you had one of those during the war. <laughs> Would have put the fear of God into the Kilrathi. <laughs> well, carriers don't fly themselves, Admiral. Quite. Quite right, Carl. It is the men, isn't it? Well, it looks like the... Uh, Pastoral life agrees with you. I'm envious. <laughs> yeah, I was a little more confident in the Confederation security. I... I'd walk away in an instant. Well, reports are that you ran into some trouble on your way here. Yes, sir. Ah, law and order. Concepts that seem to be crumbling throughout the Confederation. These are transitional times, Admiral. Yes, but in the Kilrathi, we had a common enemy. It was humanity's finest hour. Now we cast about uncertain. Well, you've seen it for yourself, the wanton destruction. That's why Confed needs your services, your experience again. Well, you know where my loyalties have always been, sir. Something we count on, Colonel. For the past months now, there's been an undeclared war waged against us. Acts of terrorism, piracy, sabotage. Is it symptomatic of these transitional times, or is there something else at work here? Do you see a strategy or design behind it? Every time I connect the dots, I'm always guided back to our longtime allies in the border worlds. And you think they've undertaken some kind of guerrilla war? Hmm. Well, their relationship with Comfed has always been uneasy. Hmm. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Which is where I come in. <laughs> well, we have a, a long history together. One that, uh, I dare say, has been a bit rocky in the past. We have had our differences, sir. Yeah. But there's no denying our achievements. Which is why I have personally reinstated you to active duty. Not only will you be my eyes and ears, but your very presence in the border worlds will send a potent message to all the galaxy. I am no politician, sir. Actions speak louder than words, Colonel. I'm not sending you there merely as a symbol. I'm putting you back in the cockpit, where you'll be reunited with an old friend. The thrill of battle. Maniac. My call sign? It's how I live, it's how I fly, because that's the name, come on, right? Because that's 
It's the name of the tune, right? Hey, here. maniacs, Blair. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, Colonel Blair, Blair, nice to meet you. Sir. Well, thank you. Let Colonel, me take your back. Thank you very Colonel much. Blair, sir. It, it's an honor, sir. Nice to meet you. All hail the mighty heart of the tiger. You know, you're not the only war hero in Confed. I've taken out more cats than most ships' entire attachments. Do I get the red carpet treatment? No. No, I carry my own duffel bag. I don't go schmoozing with the Admiral. Admiral Tolwin, Tolwin. Oh. Has he said anything about me? You haven't heard? He couldn't stop talking about you, Maniac. What? Well, it's classified. I mean, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I got clearance. I got clearance. I'll tell you about it later. Wait a minute. <laughs> Colonel, you remember our bet? I was hoping you'd forget, Captain. I told you you weren't through with flying. You kept telling me you were done. <laughs> I'll never say never, I guess. I gotta tell you, this ship really puts the victory to shame. Looks like Confed's been taking good care of you. Yes, they've been taking care of me. It's a different task now. But that means I still need good pilots. Captain Eisen, please report to the bridge. We're getting ready to jump to the Hellespawn system. Take care of a little trouble. You take a good look around, you'll find it a lot different than your last tour of duty. Deck hockey has been canceled today due to anti-gravity anomalies. Look what the solar winds blew in. Welcome aboard, Colonel. One card draw for the next drink. <laughs> <laughs> Better luck next time. So, you still living up to that call sign of yours? Man can do okay, as long as he doesn't stay in one place too long. Of course, I had to get greedy. I stayed in the active reserve. All those monthly credits seem like free money. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have figured they'd actually reinstate me? I got played for a sucker. I ought to know better, right? Well, I've never seen you lose a hand when it counted, Vagabond. Speaking of which, I think I owe you a drink. Colonel, shall we cut to the chase? Wouldn't have it any other way, sir. Good. You know, some of these newbies rattle on about what if this happened, what if that happened. This is the brain case, I tell them. Make good use of it. Now, we're here in the Hellespont because pirates have been disrupting the trade routes in and out of the system. As yet, we don't know what their motivations are. Some of their attacks appear to be the usual attempts to confiscate supplies and weapons, yet others are simply senseless, violent acts of terrorism. Now, I want you and a wingman to escort this supply transport to the jump point, ensuring it's safe passage out of the system. Then, fly to this nav point where communications array is under construction. Now, upon your arrival, you'll relieve the patrols currently providing security in the area. Understood? Yes, sir. One Captain, it's great to be flying for you again. Well, the feeling's mutual. Can I direct you somewhere, Lieutenant? Just shipped in, sir. Second Lieutenant Troy Carter. Call sign, Cat Scratch. Now, you didn't just graduate from the Academy, did you? First in my class, sir. Ah. I just wish there was still some Kilrathi around. <laughs> I think you're a little late on that score. Hey, Colonel Blair, gotta ask oh you a question. God, you're him. Afraid so. I can't believe my luck. Getting assigned to the same ship you're on? Oh man, wait until they hear about this back home. Jesus, kid lays it on thick, huh? Talk to you later, Colonel. Is that true, Cat Scratch? Are you doing a number on me? Oh no, sir. I've been dreaming of a chance like this. This is 
stuff I could learn from you, sir. The stories you must have. Oh, I've got stories, all right. But the only place you learn anything is out there in the cockpit. Colonel, sir, it would be the honor of my life to fly on your wing. <laughs> we'll see, Cat Scratch. We'll see. Yes, sir. I'm not too much for nostalgia, soldier. Too many good people died. I'd rather move on. But you're the heart of the tiger, sir. That's just a name, Cat Scratch. Just because you're the last man standing doesn't necessarily mean you're a hero. Yes, sir. Hey, Smith, where is Colonel Blair? Ah, oh, Colonel, time to earn your pay. Yes, sir. Now, it's still not known whether these pirates are independent operators or are somehow connected to the border world's militia. Nevertheless, we're here to put them out of business. Now, thanks to your excellent recon work, we do know the pirates base out of this frigate on the edge of the Hellespont asteroid belt. The job is simple. You and your wingman get in a pair of bombers, fly in there, and take them out. Now, I'll assign two other fighters to provide you cover. Go to it. Right away, sir. <sighs> May Smith, where's Colonel Blair? Ah, oh, Colonel, time to earn your pay. Yes, sir. Now, it's still not known whether these pirates are independent operators or are somehow connected to the border world's militia. Nevertheless, we're here to put them out of business. Now, due to your less than satisfactory recon work, we remain uncertain as to where the pirates are hiding out. Therefore, I want you to lead a squadron on a search and destroy through these lightly target areas. Now, you and your wingman will have fighter cover. When you find the base, take it out. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Ah, Colonel. I wish I had a little more faith in the data I'm getting from Confed Intel. We've just entered Border World Territory, a tier system. Uh, important hostage has been taken on because of the current tission. Now, that means a target extraction. But we have to find the hostage first, determine the best method of removal, which is where you come in. Now, Intel says the target is in this base complex on Tier 7, but we need as much recon as we can get. Now, all our fighters are equipped with a new laser recon device, fires like a gun, take pictures like a camera. Get as close as you can and record as much info as possible. Now, be sure to consult your mission notes and your nav map. They'll have a few more technical details. Any resistance expected? Well, um, I guess is they aren't going to appreciate snoops of cameras down there. Try to make it a clean operation. We're more interested in recon than kills. All set, Colonel? You bet, Captain. Nothing so interesting. <laughs> Just a trans to my grandchildren. New school year. <laughs> They're all excited. Did you want to see me about something, Colonel? Oh, yeah, sir. The uh, assignment we're undertaking. Yes, we're just about ready to make the extraction. It won't be easy. We'll discuss it at the briefing. Right now, I'm due to check in at the bridge. I'll see you in the briefing room. Ah, Colonel. Confed has deemed this an especially critical mission. Any particular reason? 
let's get down to business, shall we, Colonel? Yes, sir. Enemy reinforcements are headed this way, so we have to move fast. A trooper transport has just joined up with us. They'll be moving in right behind you, carrying the personnel who will nab the hostage. Thanks to your recon, we know just where we're going and what we're up against. The hostage is located in this structure. Now, you'll need to cover the trooper transport's descent to that location. Then make sure it gets back here in one piece. Is that clear, Colonel? Consider it done. Ah, Colonel. Confed has deemed this an especially critical mission. Any particular reason? Let's get down to business, shall we, Colonel? Yes, sir. Enemy reinforcements are headed this way, so we have to move fast. A trooper transport has just joined up with us. They'll be moving in right behind you, carrying the personnel who will nab the hostage. Now, as you know, we didn't get all the recon we wanted. Now, each of these nav points represents an installation, and we think the hostage is in one of them. You'll cover the trooper transport as it docks with each structure until the troops find the hostage. Then, bring them home. Try and make this quick and clean, Colonel. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yes, sir. Captain Hugh Paulson attached to the 3rd Fleet with orders from Regional Command. Welcome aboard, Captain. They must be important orders indeed for you to personally carry them so far. All Confederation orders are important, Captain. The Lexington is to head immediately to the Massa system where we will rendezvous with the 3rd Fleet. I'll inform my helm. You will be filling me in on Confed's orders. Oh, we have much to discuss. In private, Captain? Perhaps we'd better adjourn to my cabin. Will we be joined by the captain, sir? Captain Eisen has been assigned to other duties, Colonel. Orders from Confed. But he's still in command of the ship. His new obligations will not allow him to continue his previous functions. I now command this vessel. Any problems with that? Has the captain been in any way derelict? I'm not at liberty to discuss personnel decisions, Colonel. Time grows short. We have a mission ahead of us. The Border World's militia has brazenly hijacked a key military space lab in this system. You'll go in first to soften up the surrounding defenses. Marine transport from our fleet will then move in and take control of the lab. Cover that transport until you receive an all clear. It's absolutely vital that we wrest that lab back from these marauders. We can accept nothing less than total success. I'm confident you will not let the Confederation down, Colonel. Dismissed. Ha, ha, ha.
how would you like to Tolwyn of the SRA regarding the escalating tensions between the frontier worlds and the Confederation. The Union of Border Worlds, as they now call themselves, indicate they remain at peace with the Confederation, but the Confed bylaws and constitution no longer govern them. In response, the Great Assembly has decreed that Border World vessels can no longer operate within Confed territory unless under military escort. We go now live to Admiral Jeffrey Tolwyn at Confed HQ. Admiral. Hello, Barbara. Good evening, everyone. Uh, for weeks now, we've been experiencing an increasing harassment of legitimate Confed space operations. I'm afraid innocent people are being murdered and chaos is the result. Until we bring these perpetrators to justice, I'm afraid we must monitor all traffic flying under a different flag. Admiral. Can the Union of Border Worlds and the Confederation come to terms? Well, Barbara, what other choice do we have? Thank you, Admiral. <laughs> Thank you. Next up, the scores for the Galactic Cricket Cup. <laughs> the old one's right. Confed has to do whatever it takes to maintain order. Otherwise, you got everybody going off half cocked. Well, the border worlds have been dumped on ever since the war ended. This required chaperoning is just going to turn up the heat. Well, they don't think they're lucky stars that ain't the Kelrathi bossing them around. Look, a lot of people think it was the border worlds who kept us in the war long enough for the colonel here to lower the boom. Your farm's in the field, real close to the border worlds. You think they should be forced to fly under escort? It's a big galaxy. People are bound to have different goals. Look, Confit had to maintain control for 40 years. They're having a hard time letting go. You seen Captain Nyson? Laying low. I don't blame him. We've done pretty well with Confit in charge. You gotta think about the victims of this terrorism. What do you think will happen to the captain? He's been holed up in his cabin since this whole Paulson thing started. I mean, I, I'm sick of the whole thing. Exemplary work on the space lab, Colonel. Thank you, sir. Rescuing it and the biochemist will be of tremendous benefit to Confed's plans, but not a business at hand. Predictably, the Border Worlds Union brazenly defies Confed's airspace edict. We approach one such outlaw convoy now. Military ships that have invaded Confed's territory and maneuver with no Confed escort. They have ignored orders to turn back and have even taken pot shots at Confed's forces. They are a grave threat and their presence can no longer be tolerated. We shall issue one more warning if they refuse to cooperate you are to enforce the interdiction, Colonel, by any means necessary. Dismissed. Hey, maniac. Hi. Well, same to you, buddy. I said, some of these guys, not exactly friendly. Nah, forget it. Hey, how about that bioconvergence chemist? Was she friendly or uh, friendly fire? <laughs> well, um... Attention! All personnel without level 5 security clearance leave the flight deck immediately. There will be no unauthorized access to the flight deck until further notice. <laughs> Pretty soon we're gonna need a hall pass just to use the head. Wonder who's coming aboard? Beats me. Well, since I'm not feeling very welcome around here, I'm gonna go get myself a libation up at the lounge. Coming? Sure. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I better meet you up there. I just remembered I was supposed to drop by Eisen's cabin. Guess the old man wants to tell his best pilot au revoir. All right. 
But any biochemists on their own or mine? I'll stick around. <laughs> Paulson doesn't look like he gives guys much slack. I'll be sure to visit you in the brig. Well, you never know. You know, I might get lucky. They might send another biochemist my way. <sighs> Suit yourself. This is certainly unexpected. Things haven't been progressing as anticipated, Captain. Gentlemen, we have a critical situation. Captain Eisen has stolen the shuttle and fled the Lexington. There has to be some explanation. We have reason to believe he's been feeding information to Border World's intelligence these past weeks. That's why he was relieved of command. But we had hoped to bring him in quietly and simply pull the plug on his indiscretions. My guess is he knew we were on to him. Is Captain Eisen piloting the shuttle? Unfortunately, the captain seems to have enlisted the aid of Major Todd Marshall. <laughs> Maniac? Gentlemen, I know this is difficult since you are old comrades. But this is a deadly breach of security. If the current tensions erupt into war, the information Captain Eisen might have could do us serious damage. The Confederation has never needed you more. Do we have a heading? Unfortunately, his destination is still undetermined. These are your wingmen. Your ships have been trapped. An ordinance has already been committed. You must bring William Eisen back. Sir. Captain Eisen's already taken these steps. I doubt he'll come back willingly. Use any means necessary, Colonel. Captain Eisen must not be allowed to leave this system. He must not be allowed to rendezvous with Border World forces. Dismissed! Manly? 
I'm Colonel Tamara Farnsworth. I recognize those names as Panther and Hawk. I'm your story assistant. That's right. I'm near the famous Heart of the Tiger. Look, I'd love to stand here and play get to know you, but just stay right there. We got some problems to take care of. If you can direct us to Captain Dominguez, he's expecting you. Captain Dominguez was on the bridge during the attack. He didn't make it. Anybody on the bridge or in the bays didn't survive. Two thirds of the crew. Captain Dominguez did brief us on your possible defection. Your deal is with him, though. We gotta talk things over with the crew before you guys get too cozy, understood? We'll finish this later. Come on, we could use some extra hands. I fought with Captain Dominguez 40 years ago during the Venice offensive. Now he's dead at the hands of one of his own? What, what is all of this coming to? I was hoping you'd be able to tell me. I've turned my back on Confed. About it. Paulson said you were... you were a spy. <laughs> A detective, maybe. They were feeding us a lot of bogus information. The last couple of days, I've been checking out mission data, uh, coded transmissions, uh, fleet movements. I've got all the information right here. This could stop a full-blown war. But you don't know what it means? Well, some of the pieces are missing, but what I do know is this. This clash between the border world and Confed is being provoked by certain elements within Confed. Watch your head. Why didn't you tell me? Because I have no idea who they are. All I knew was that my defection could end up being suicidal. I couldn't ask you to put yourself in that position. You had to decide that for yourself when the time came. I made my choice, sir. I have no regrets. Well, Colonel, I hope you never do. One more, come on! Well, listen, we're gonna get up top, see if they need any help. Yeah, I'll lend out a hand down here. Yeah, that'll work fine. Well, if it ain't the new Confed flyboy. Fighting on our side, huh? Yeah. The name's Blair. Well, hooray! I guess that means we're gonna win this thing after all, right? <laughs> Welcome aboard, kid. Chief Tech Robert Sykes. <laughs> but you can call me Pliers. Thanks, Pliers. I haven't seen one of those birds in quite a while. Not up close, anyway. Yeah, I bet you worked on plenty of them. Oh, yeah. I used to pull kill Raffy whiskers out of the intakes for kids like you. <laughs> yeah, I could do a few things with that baby. Hey, don't let these gray hairs fool you, kid. I can still perform miracles with nothing more than a socket driver and a pile of junk parts. Looks to me like you kind of have to. Yeah. Plus, I could tweak those birds way beyond the specs those egghead engineers come up with. Well, great. I can use all the help I can get out there. Well, just wait and see what I can do, kid. Trust me. <laughs> I don't know. Specs are specs, Chief. Those engineers must have their reasons. Hey, there's gonna come a time you're gonna need that extra juice of mine, kid. Trust me. Pull up a chair. <laughs> I think I already have, Lieutenant Sosa. Oh, sorry, sir. What you got there? Uh, well, look at me. I'm I'm stuck in the Stone Age. I mean, so much of our equipment is down, I've got to resort to prehistoric tools in order to decrypt this info Captain Eisen brought with them. So, you have a talent for decoding. Well, um, yeah, sir. I mean, I, I don't mean to brag, but I'm definitely one of the best. Wow. Anything there? Plenty. It's just going to take me some time. One thing's for sure. Confit definitely has a lot of skeletons in its lockers. Bridge used to be up there. 
Berths were farther up. <sighs> Poor bastards. Never knew what hit him. At least when I go, I'll be in a cockpit. Come on, cheer up. I still say it'll be friendly fire that gets you. I don't know. The side we picked to be on has a long, hard road ahead. Will you look on the bright side? At least now you won't have to deal with that confed promotion that finally came through. My promotion came? My promotion? Confed, I, that's not right. I say we just cut our losses and pull back. The jump point is the quickest way out of the system. It's way too obvious. I say we stay and hurt the Lexington as much as possible. That way we'll be hurting Confed too. How long have they been carrying on like this? Doesn't make any sense. Too long. There's something you don't understand. It's Look, typical. You're both right and you're both wrong. Attacking the Lexington is a waste of valuable resources. Beating a hasty retreat is a wiser course of action. The jump point is the most obvious exit route. The Salinas Nebulus might be a better way out. Either way, I don't think the Lexington is going to just let us cruise away. I'll bet you'll get a chance to inflict damage on her or sustain more yourself. What do you think, Colonel? I think this ship needs a captain. I'll do the best I can. Happy to see you back where you belong, Captain. Thank you, Colonel. You had no small part in it. Well, to business. As you know, to avoid further harassment, the Intrepid's going to try and make its way out of this system through this nebula, I'd like you and a wingman to scout ahead, clear the area of any hostiles you might encounter. Understood, sir. Good luck, Colonel. Nice. Very nice. Gentlemen. Welcome to our new sleeping quarters. I never promised first-class accommodations. Don't take offense, sir, but how can you make jokes? An hour ago, I was a confed pilot. Now I'm shooting them down. What's going on? What are we doing here? We're trying to make things right. I don't know what the rules are anymore. Well, you know, Cat Scratch, life isn't a flight sim. I think you're going to learn the rules keep changing. Just hope we did the right thing, partner. If confed gets approved to really go after the border worlds, this thing is going to get ugly. It's putting it mildly. But sometimes what you believe is more important than any flag. We got to stick with the guys we can trust. And Eisen, he's one of the few. Well, this is it, Colonel. The Lexington clearly has a good idea of our whereabouts, and we're like a bee buzzing around inside of a jar. I wouldn't be surprised if Paulson is steering for us right now. So I think you should take one of the Avengers up on this mission. Now, our only hope of escape lies in this backdoor jump point. I want you to take three wingmen and escort us the hell out of here. Disaster. Stop whining. Your first mistake was in not killing him right away. Who? Eisen or the Colonel? Take your pick. What's going to happen now? It's a good question, Captain. First of all, we're going to get reassigned.
and then I'm going to continue my plans. With the added pleasure of killing the heart of the tiger. <laughs> what are you looking at, soldier? Just fly the vehicle. Oh my God, what a disaster. Your first mistake was in not killing him right away. Who, Eisen or the Colonel? Take your pick. What's going to happen now? It's a good question, Captain. First of all, you're going to get reassigned. And I'm going to continue with my plans. With the added pleasure of killing the heart of the tiger. <laughs> What are you looking at, soldier? Just fly the vehicle. Come on. Ah, you see, sir? There it is, right there. Yes, Lieutenant, I see it. What do you see? There are holes in the data I confiscated from the Lexington. We've got no confed transmission data for a specific 18-hour period. Before and after that time period, confed undertook operations which seemed to relate to the chemists in the lab we confiscated. But without that comm data, we can't make a firm connection. We're missing carrier group trackings, fleet movements, assignment logs. More pieces to the puzzle. Oh, I've got it. There's a confed comm station right here in Orestes. Orbiting the system's outermost planet. Oh, sure. Most of Confed's comm traffic must relay through there. Mm. Helm, set nav coordinates for Rusty's 9. Aye, aye, sir. We're going on a scavenger hunt. Sir. I'm afraid we have to postpone our plan for a comm station at Arrestus 9. We just received a distress signal from a border world's convoy. It appears that they ran afoul of Confed's interdiction edict. And it now appears that Confed has entered into the border worlds to pursue them with a frigate and a destroyer. Proceed with all due haste, Colonel. That convoy needs our help. Right away, sir. One of our MIPS. MIPS? Manned insertion pod. Little gimmick I stole about a year ago from some confed testing site when no one was looking. <laughs> Never heard of it. Of course not. Takes them guys forever to release new technology. But with all their red tape about safety and such. Definitely not for claustrophobic types. No, oh, it's a snug fit. But it's just a thing for squeezing folks into a spot where a shuttle might be too big or attract too much attention. See that? Latches right onto the target, then laser cuts a hole so the guy inside can crawl right through. Lock and launch procedure? Just like firing an MREC. Of course, the fellow in there has got to release the safety first. And he's pretty much on his own with minimal steerage. Minimal? Enough to dock at the target, and then fly back out to where you can tractor him in. And it gets pulled right back to one of your hard points, so you can fire it again if you need to. Get her ready, pliers. Might come in handy. You got it, kid. What do I look like, a test pilot? I thought you looked like a pilot that had some spine. Can't judge a book by its cover, I guess. Watch it. All right, Rag. Your bet. All of it. <laughs> he goes for all. Of it. All right. I'll call you. What have you got? Full house. Aces and eights. I got four queens. Four queens! <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> all toast, buddy. Woo! Yes! 
me this is a joke, Vagabond. Afraid not, partner. He's not invincible to the maniac moves. <laughs> Nobody is. My ship has come in. Lady Luck is my bride. The lucky girl. Maybe I should have been flying for the border worlds all along. This can't be happening. You never lose. Okay, who's next? Now, oh, come on! What? I don't mind telling you, Colonel, we're so close to that missing data, I can taste it. I'm ready to go, sir. Border World's command is sending us a detachment of Marines, but they won't arrive here for another 16 hours. I don't think we can afford to wait. We're pushing our luck as it is. Now, the target is this orbiting comm station, which is surrounded by these turret mines. Now, here's our problem. A radar buoy, which will undoubtedly ring alarm bells across the system if you don't take it out fast enough now. I hope you talk to Pliers about his cloaking device. Because if you slip past those turns, you can quickly take that boy out and make our delivery. Delivery? Well, as you know, Vagabond's had some espionage experience. He and Lieutenant Sosha here have volunteered to go in. We'll use the insertion pods to get them in. Approach the comm station, fire them off. They'll dock, get the data, and then you pull them out. Because of the clandestine nature of this mission, you'll have to fly solo, understood? Completely, Captain. I hope so, Colonel. Because without that missing data, we have nothing. Good luck, Colonel. Our intelligence was kind of off. Come on, they're in here. We're going into some well-armed guards. Stay low. I'll draw their fire. Go! Come on! Come on! We're here to say goodbye to Lieutenant Winston Chang. This was a man who flew with his heart, as well as his mind. You know, I consider myself lucky to have flown with him. And even luckier to have been his friend. Vagabond, may your spirit continue to roam the stars. your valiant attempt at apprehending these criminals, and I assure you that we will prevail. Colonel, you have set aside your personal loyalties for a higher duty, your duty to confed, and your efforts will not be wasted. Eisen will pay for this. These are difficult times, Colonel. Nothing gets my juices flowing more than the act of a traitor. Captain Eisen clearly arranged for his rendezvous with that border world ship. They're playing a pretty good game of cat and mouse right now. 
but sooner or later we're going to find them. That ship will not leave this system. Your assignment is to search and destroy sortie through these nav points. Dismissed. Ah, Colonel. Good news. During the last mission, another squadron of ours dispatched one of those defectors. Which one? One of the pilots. Why don't you join me? I like hearing what the men have to say. You know, to a captain, isolation is a constant enemy. You have your wingmen and the brotherhood of your fellow pilots, but a captain... I have no doubt Eisen let himself get too isolated. Perhaps it contributed to his treacherous actions. His actions remain a mystery to me, sir. Oh, a confounding mystery, Colonel, why a man like him with such a distinguished career would throw it all away. For a horde of... subhumans. Mm. Sir? The border worlders? Barbarians, most of them. They offer sanctuary to the Kilrathi, for God's sake. But, when you think about them... Ex-cons, privateers, most of them not from any kind of pure stock, you know. With cattle you worry about stock, not with people as far as I know. It's just that we've gone so hard since the war, you know what I'm talking about. But these new men that we've brought in, like Seether. Is that the pilot in the briefing room? Yes. They're uh, a new breed. Should we embark on a war of galactic scale again, our best hope will be men like him. Their response swift and merciless, no quarter to the enemy. I heard no mention of honor, Captain. An oversight. Honor, of course. with any of these men before, sir? <laughs> Do you know the records? There's new to me as they are to you. Well, none of them are from the border worlds, I can tell you that. That doesn't surprise me. That one who met us on the flight deck? See there? What about him? He's taken over Eisen's cabin. He's a lot of nerve. I guess he thinks he's better than the rest of us. I'm gonna see what he thinks. bound to. Enter. Colonel. Doing a little spying of your own. Captain Eisen, guilty of so many things, was guilty of data theft as well. My efforts at damage control are feeble, I assure you. It's difficult to ascertain the amount of damage his misguided deeds may have caused. However misguided he may have been, I'm sure Captain Eisen had reasons for his actions. <laughs> Eisen was weak. In the long run, the Confederation was much better off without him. I doubt that. You know... We've seen each other before. You remember? Of course, Colonel. I can't say I was particularly impressed with your behavior. Ah, that planet in the field. Riff Raff. Being on the edge of the border worlds, I had to deal with a problem as they understood. That one? I should have finished him off. And who are you to make that call? Be honest, Colonel. We make that call all the time. 
every time we climb in the cockpit. Every creature in the galaxy is constantly being weighed and measured in one or another's eyes. The strong, the successful, find themselves always worthy. But we get tested every day till we die. All of us. Uh, Colonel, we think we have an approximate fix on that border world ship we've been chasing. It looks like they're going to try to escape the system through this nebula. The assignment for you and your wingman remains the same. This ship and any fighter attached to it is to be targeted. Dismissed. One other thing, Colonel. I'd like to clock some flying time. I'll be one of those in your wing. Oh, you better speak up. This is your last chance. Look, I don't know anything. Really. I'm not, I'm not, I'm I want to know the position of the intrepid. Position? I don't deal with coordinates, man. I follow beacons. I don't know anything about coordinates. I don't know anything. What are you? You're a pathetic liar. Complaint, Colonel? That man was a prisoner of war. It's not target practice. I haven't seen anything like that since. <laughs> since the kill Rathi? In case you haven't noticed, Colonel, we're fighting a war. The politicians may not have signed all the papers yet, but out there it's my side and their side. The Kill Rathi didn't let cheap sentimentality get in the way of the war they fought. Maybe we should learn something from them. I may have overreacted just a little bit. But you can't unring the bell. Captain Paulson will hear about this. I wouldn't bother, Colonel. Besides, who do you think runs this ship? Get him out of my sight. The border world ship thinks it's found a way out of this system, but we're way ahead of them. They're coming our way, Colonel, so I'm swinging the Lexington around to literally block the jump point. We're all tired of chasing this ship. Finish them off. You will not return until this is achieved? Dismissed. Oh. One other thing, Captain. Will Seether be going up on this one? No. I need him here to help me coordinate our efforts. Welcome to the Union of Border Worlds, Colonel Blair. Great to finally be here. This is Colonel Farnsworth. I'm Colonel Jacob Manley. I know those names. Cat Scratch? I want you to meet Hawk and Panther. These Sir. two kicked a lot of Kill Rafi yeah. butt for Confed during the war. Yeah, now Confed's kicking our butts. Well, maybe we can help out on that score. Great. Show your quarters. presence for the christening of the Vesuvius will be a great inspiration to her crew, Senator. Ah, she's a bonny ship. Tell me, is there news? Have there been more skirmishes in the border worlds? News of the worst kind, I'm afraid. 
betrayal. It appears that our great hero of the Kilrathi War has defected to the Union of Border Worlds. Blair? Defected? I find that hard to believe. He was always a hothead, but... What on earth induced him to... What the devil is going on out there? The intelligence I've collected is erratic, um, unreliable. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. The best lack all conviction. Whilst the worst possess a passionate intensity, Yeats. And you have no idea who is behind all this? Well, one thing is clear, Senator. The Border World's militia grows increasingly more aggressive. A grave mistake. I never knew Blair to be rash. Betrayal is always a mystery. Well, we are running out of time, Admiral. A declaration of war against the Border Worlds has been laid before the Assembly. The vote will be in seven days. The outcome of that vote will largely be determined by your report. Well, let's hope that war is not our only option. Amen. Look, uh, I am sorry. Oh, I... You did what you had to do, Colonel. Yeah, well, I tried to blow the two of you out of the sky. Vagabond, too. We lost Vagabond. Yeah, well, that's behind us. You're here now. Hey, I'll get over it. Maybe. I suppose some sort of explanation is in order. No, sir. I have turned my back on Confed. My hope is we can stop a full-blown war. You're not the only one that was bothered by the mission assignments and sketchy info that Confed was feeding us. So you started to play detective? Before defecting and since, I've been collecting mission data coded transmissions and tracking fleet movements. But you don't know what it all means? I'm still missing some very important pieces of the puzzle, but I do know that these clashes between the Border Worlds and Confed are being provoked by certain elements within Confed. Exactly who they are remains unclear. But why didn't you tell me before you defected? Well, I'm sorry, Colonel. Perhaps I should have. But the only thing I was certain of was that my defection had a very good chance of being a suicide run. I couldn't ask you to take that position. You had to decide for yourself. I made my decision, sir. And I have no regrets. I'm glad, because if Confed gets the Assembly's approval of warfare on the border worlds, it'll be bloodier than the war with the Kilrathi. Now, you learn how to make a decent cup of coffee on this tub yet? It was just a few hands. The aces just kept coming my way. You know, he was dealing most of the time. Maniac. You're an idiot. I know. Maybe if I hadn't gloated so much, you know, shoved in his face like that. That's not what I'm saying. You think that Vagabond lost the will to live because you beat him at cards. I never beat him before. We've got an SOS, Colonel, from a convoy broadcasting any Border Worlds craft in the vicinity. Now, I don't know what you're going to run into when you get out there, so stay alert. Now, the convoy appears to be moving around, probably trying to get away from whatever is causing it grief. But they were last sighted here at these coordinates. 
Bring that convoy back to our location, Colonel. Yes, sir. Ah, Colonel. I suspect there's little need for an introduction. Greetings, Colonel. Never did I expect our paths to cross again. Small universe. My only regret is the circumstances that now bring us together. Since my personal surrender to you, Colonel, we Kirathi have tried to coexist peacefully with Terrans. Melek and his convoy are seeking safe passage back to their new homeland in Pasquale. We have been harassed by unknown forces for the past 48 hours. He brought us a copy of his ship's DR log, sir. She's back in hell spot. My thoughts exactly. No. I've seen that before. So have I. When I first signed on with Confed, there was a rookie pilot on my ship. He's the only man I ever met who could do that trick. What was his name? He was transferred out real quick. Disappeared into Confed intelligence ops. I can't remember his name. But he flew under the call sign of Seether. I could do a lookup in Confed Registry. That wouldn't do any good, Lieutenant. When Confed Intel wants you blanked, you're gone forever. I heard some weird talk about a, a GE program, but never found out what it was. I'd just love to get that son of a bitch in my sights. No offense, Colonel, but uh, you wouldn't want to tangle with that guy. If he was that good then... Malik, I'd like to keep this recording. Uh, this, combined with the information that we've collected and decoded, will have to be enough. We've got less than a week before the assembly votes. Colonel, I want you to meet me back here in 10. It's time we made our move. Well, so you finally took my advice about finding some place to get some rest. Yeah, it's the Ritz. <sighs> well, I'm not going to put myself out too much on this Kilrothy foreign aid, that's for sure. What a waste. I fought those animals in the war. We'd all be a lot better off if their old kind was obliterated. Look, right now the Kilrathi have the same enemy we do. So every time we want to fight for them, it's another battle won for the border worlds. Well, you just tell me where to shoot, and I'll pull the trigger. Thanks, Hawk. I knew I could count on you. Yeah. <sighs> you know, I'd expect that kind of attitude from someone like Cat Scratch, but from a pilot with your experience, haven't you seen enough suffering? Yeah, but not enough of the right kind. Stop it, Captain. Major! Here. Sir! Thank you. This is it, Colonel. I'm shipping out. Personal delivery? I think it's best that way. I haven't been in this man's Navy all these years without developing a few contacts in high places. When the boys at Confed see what I've got, they'll realize they have a few rats in the house. Can you trust them? What choice do I have? They have influence at the assembly. And they're the only way of our stopping a declaration of war. Captain. Transcom coming in, sir. Ah, Vice Admiral Wilther. You know who this is. He'll be the Intrepid's acting captain in my absence. How do you do, Colonel? I must say, I have always wanted to meet you. Colonel, you all right? Oh, yes, I'm fine, Admiral. Uh, Wilfred, uh, weren't you with Confed, sir? Forty years of service. Came out to the border worlds to retire. But they convinced me to uh, come back to work. Uh, I know the feeling, sir. You'll be consulting with Admiral Wilfred on mission assignments. He's constantly on the move. We're lucky to have him in our system. 
By the way, Admiral, what happened to that squad of Marines you were sending us? Sidetracked. Operation in the Lennox system. You know how thin our resources are. They'll be there within the hour. Looking forward to working with you, Colonel. The Admiral's not much on goodbyes. Time I said mine. Talk to you later. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> Everybody here? Let's get to it. I want to start off by saying I'm going to do my best at running things in Captain Eisen's absence. Any of you have any questions or suggestions, I want you to come to me. We'll talk. Don't bitch and moan behind my back. But just remember, I have been given the job of making final decisions. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Certainly. All right, let's get to it then. Gotta move fast on this one, people. We've just entered the Pasquale system, and Melek sources report that one of the Kilrathi planets, Pasquale 10, is under attack. Of course, we all know that they are not being flown by Border World's pilots. Now, my guess is like everything else we've run into, it's the renegade faction of Confed behind this. Now, the hotspots are in these three nav points. I'll be taking two wingmen up, we're gonna clear them out. Now remember, they're in ships that look just like ours, so be alert. We don't want any friendly fire casualties here. Well, that's it then. Dismissed. Something like that. Oh, Lieutenant Colonel Decker and company reporting for duty. Colonel Blair. Oh, the cat killer. Hey, look, you people were supposed to be here hours ago. <laughs> well, things got a little hairy in Lennox. Speaking of which, I hear you're trying to bring home a few cats. You got a problem with that? You're looking at a veteran of Repleta and a man who escaped the Kilrathi POW camp. They took a lot of years out of my life. That war's over, ain't it? Yeah. Well, it looks like we got another on our hands. Okay, well, as ordered, experts at hand-to-hand -hand combat. They don't look like much, but they get the job done. Come on, on your feet, let's go. Get up, come on! Ready to go to work. Good. Get him prepped for a mission. We're gonna see some action. All right. Go! We're approaching Melek's home, which is a Kilrathi starbase. What's their status? My attempts at raising the station have been met with complete silence. No response on any channel, sir. In other words, we don't know who or what's down there. Now, our marine contingent has finally arrived, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take two wingmen up, sweep the area for hostiles. The star base is located at the second nav point. As soon as we've secured the area, we'll signal for Lieutenant Colonel Decker and his men to shuttle out and gain control of the base while we provide cover. They're prepping right now. A Melek's gonna follow in one of his own shuttles, and once he's delivered, we'll escort the Marines back to the Intrepid, which will be at a new location near the jump point leading out of the system. Now keep in mind, there may be more border world ships out there piloted by the enemy. Everybody got that? Dismissed. This is where we say goodbye, Mallory. My cry will be most interested in this new picture I will offer of the heart of the tiger. back from the edge 
edge of this jamming black hole, sir, but I'd have to say we're still only partially sighted. Well, then we got no choice. We go out on a search and destroy. Hey, that's suicide. There could be a whole fleet waiting out there for us. We wouldn't know it. No radar, no shields. Without any guidance systems, the dumb flyers are going to be the only firecrackers worth taking. Okay. Something's thrown a blanket on the system. Let's go out, find it, and put it out of business. Move! Since the shields ain't working, me and my people have been beefing up everyone's armor. If you know what's good for you, you'll shift your shield power to the engines. They're going to carry a lot of strain with all that extra weight. Tell us where the jamming's coming from. Who are you working for? What kind of interference is it? How many ships are there? Come on, talk. How Listen, many ships are there? I don't there? have to tell, tell you now. a damn thing. No, 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 talk to me. Take it easy, Hawk. Come on. So you're with them now. You did me a good turn once. Yeah? Why the sudden change in attitude? I owe him one. Hey, let's everybody relax. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Here. Listen, I was just flying for these guys because they paid me anyway. Ain't like the old days, when you had a cause. Are you so sure? There's people dying out there that don't deserve it. Why don't you tell us what you know? You get me home? You've got my word. You're looking for a cab ship. They re-outfitted it, so you'd hardly recognize it was ever one of ours. It moves around every six hours. I'll plot it for you on a nav map. It has to uncloak when it fires its engines. Otherwise, it lays low. It's packed full of gadgets that do the jamming. I don't even know what it's doing here. It's an evil old thing. There's no damn honor in just poking someone in the eye. Listen, uh, you got a place here if you want it. No, my flying days are over. Next time, it won't be an injection pod, it'll be a coffin. I'd like to postpone that for a while, if you don't mind. That'll get you cleaned up, something to eat. Come on. Tell us where the jammy's coming from. Who are you working for? What kind of interference is it? How many ships are there? Come on, talk. How Listen, many ships are there? I don't there? have to tell, tell you now. a damn thing. I don't know that. Damn it, Ripple, yeah. Oh, this one. He's a real prince. Kicks you when you're down and out. Why don't you shut the Talk! Stop it! It's not helping. Come on, pal. You want to tell us what you know? Sure. It's bigger than a bread box. And it doesn't have wheels. It moves around so you'll never find it. And that's all you're gonna get out of me. I'm sure you have ways of getting more information. I hear you're a nasty lot. But I fought the kill Rathi all my life, and I'm a tough bird. Take him to the brig. Come on, come on. Here they come now. Everybody here? All right, Lieutenant. Sir, we received this in the past hour. Colonel, I hope this reaches you. I've had to halt all our traffic through Peleus, and it is seriously hampering Border World's efforts. You're our last hope of regaining the system and its resources. And without it, our endeavors are doomed. Good luck. All we know is that our target moves around a lot. Well, my guess is it's a single ship rather than several. Now, we'll cover these four nav points within the dead zone. I don't know where or when we'll find it, but when we do, we've got to take it out. Well, that's it then. Now that we know what our target is and its navigation schedule, I think our chances are pretty good. Now, this jamming cap ship has to be destroyed, and there's only one way to do that. Yeah, with just the dump fires? Our aim's gonna have to be perfect. 
Some of us know how to aim, maniac. We don't just rely on dumb luck. Let's do it, people. Visual targets dead ahead. Somebody's in a mighty big hurry to make tracks. Might be interesting to find out just who it is. A well, long range comm system is still a little shaky, sir, but give me a minute and I will raise the colonel for you. They don't pay me to defer decisions, Lieutenant. Colonel's clear to pass. Someone's got to walk down it. What's wrong? You look like you've just seen a ghost. You'll never believe who Decker just hauled on board. Decker? What the hell are you talking about? Just go see. Go see down in the hold, the storage room. I think that's where Decker stowed him. my despair on hearing of your defection. We're not officially at war, Admiral. Think of it as a re-enlistment. We weren't officially at war with the Kilrafi either, but there were two sides, and defection was the only possible movement between them. You symbolized everything Confed stands for. Surely you can understand why I'm so utterly astonished by your actions. Just because we operate in the void of space, is loyalty equally weightless? I don't think so. It's the Confederation who's forgotten about loyalty, sir. It's Confed forces behind all of this. Someone who wants to start an all-out war. Yes. I believe you're right. I think your perceptions of things, for the most part, is absolutely true. That's why you find me here. Dog soldiers, you might call them. Renegades within Confed who sow disorder. Yes. There's a highly skilled pilot involved. His call sign is Seether. Well, I'm not surprised you two have run into him. The fact that you find me out here tells you how delicate these investigations have become. Finding somebody I can trust has not been easy. During the war, there were many black ops, secret efforts to finish off the Kilrathi. Many of them so highly classified that I'm just learning of them now myself. Oh, that's the GE program. <laughs> Genetic enhancement, yes. Some idiot thought they could breed the perfect warrior. <laughs> Is Seether a product of that program? I wouldn't know. That was shut down well before I got wind of it. At any rate, I... I thought I might track him down here. We were getting the same reports about the jamming. But I can assure you, it was not authorized by Confed HQ. And that hidden installation was empty by the time I got there. You wouldn't happen to know where this uh, Seether is now, would you? No, I... Huh. Time's running out for us, Colonel. Us? You and I. Both want to prevent war, not wage it. <laughs> There's still a place for you in the Confederation. We're on the same side, Colonel. Always have been. 
I'm not sure we are, Admiral. I'm not sure I recognize what CONFED stands for anymore. But these people, aboard this ship, I know them. I trust them. If there's gonna be a war, this is the side I'm on. Am I your prisoner of war then, Colonel? Like I said, we're not officially at war. You'll be released. And I hope you're right, Admiral. I hope we are on the same side. This may not be a declared war, but it is a real war. Sorry, Admiral, I have no choice. I can't let you go. You let him go. We're not at war, Decker. What? Well, what the hell have I been doing out there risking my neck? Let me tell you something, boss. Anybody with Confed is the enemy. And let me tell you something. One, you had no orders to go out on your own. And two, it's my decision as to who's a prisoner of war here, declared or otherwise. I just think it's mighty suspicious that your buddy, the Admiral, is trying to make a run for it. Do you have any idea what kind of hell would rain down on us if we imprisoned a Confed Admiral? Well, maybe you're right. Maybe. Just mark my words, I think you're gonna second-guess yourself on this somewhere down the line. Is that a prediction or a threat? Just an observation. From a grunt who's had his head dented too many times anyway. What's up? Admiral Tolan's escaped. What? How? Uh... I let him go. You did what? He's the Admiral. You know, I served under him a long time. Oh. You got any idea the kind of firepower would come down on us when they found out we were holding the Admiral prisoner? <laughs> He's your friend. So now he knows our position and what we're up to. All right, so uh, uh, I might have screwed up. They couldn't have gone far, let's go after him. And do what? Shoot him down? Talk about your acts of war. <sighs> no, this is a maniac move we're gonna have to live with. Just hope we don't live to regret it. This just came in, sir. Colonel, we're undertaking fleet actions in two different systems. And Cersei will be assisting the legitimate Border Worlds government in a fierce civil war instigated by mercenaries. Now, we believe these mercs are backed by elements within Confed. And thousands of civilians are being killed. 
Now, the other operation is in Sparadon, another border world's territory, where a confed shipyard has geared up in anticipation of war. So it appears vulnerable. And you know how badly our forces need equipment. Well, I wish you could be in both places at once. But since that isn't possible, I'm leaving the choice in your capable hands. You heard what he said. Innocent people are being wiped out in Cersei. The choice is clear. It's not as clear as all that, Colonel. We can't win battles anywhere if we don't have the weapons. That shipyard could be the answer to our prayers. Nobody here signed up for a suicide mission. I can't send people into battle unless I've done everything I can to give them a fighting chance. We're heading for Sparadon. Set a course. Aye, right, sir. I never met a flyboy who could hump a 60 kilo war pack across 30 clicks of double gravity terrain. You guys are soft work counts. Oh, we're soft. Let me tell you about soft. I took a marine on a little joyride once. I jammed the stick, took the skyscraper climb, huh? Cut the juice, reignited halfway through our fall. I flipped into a bank and roll, little 360. I was just warming up. I look in the back. The grunt has tossed his cookies, passed out. Just from taking a quarter G to five Gs. The rejects at Space Academy, they make Marines. <laughs> what a crock. You guys go for the cockpit because you can't cut it up close and personal. Up close and personal, I hear Marines have no staying power. Marines go all night long and then some. Not with their sabers extended. I'll show you some staying power. Huh? You want a piece of me? I'll Come kick on. your ass. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks for backing me up, Colonel. What are you talking about? You brought it on yourself. I thought fighter jacks were supposed to stick together. I, for one, stand behind my uniform. Yeah, when you're not disgracing it. Yeah, see what kind of backup you get next time I fly with you. Hey, 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 hey! Look! That first punch is gonna buy you a trip to the brig, mister. I'm sick of this guy running off with the mouth. You need a dose of Decker medicine. Hey, look, if it's that easy to get your goat, Decker, how are you gonna keep your cool in the field? Now, you space jocks, I'll stick together, that's right. I'll remember that the next time I'm out there risking my neck for you guys. I could have taken him. <laughs> well, come on! Hey, now, will you please? Anyway. I fire a couple missiles way over their heads, right? So they think I just can't aim. Then, when I got my last heat seeker, bam! They never know what hit them. They think it's an accident. <laughs> yeah, probably because it was an accident. Excuse me, the boy's trying to learn ways to break out of the pack, you know, to find an edge. You no, know, he can learn to fly with shields up like grandma by listening to you, or he can push the envelope a little bit. <laughs> the only envelope you've ever pushed is the one addressed to common sense. Well, he, he does have quite a kill score, sir. Maniac leads a charmed life. There's one on every ship, but only one. Relying on luck like he does is a poor way to reach old age. There you have it, kid. You can reach old age, like a certain someone we know, and um, maybe get yourself a gold watch. Or you could fly the stick with little style, huh? Little tood. Make a name for yourself. Tough call. But the choice is yours, Cat Scratch. You want your name on a gold watch or a coffin? You gonna finish that? Uh, um, no. Really? What is that stuff? I don't know. Get over here. Get over it. What did I say? Well, no, I... what did I tell you? To... I'm really sorry, sir. I just want to know how the hell you got in that predicament. It was supposed to be a milk one. I guess it got a little too clever, sir. Uh -huh. I fired off a couple missiles as decoys like Maniac was talking about. Only I, I missed when it really counted, sir. I should have known. 
If I ever hear you handing out advice again, I will personally put a big red bullseye on your back and declare it open season. Hey, I didn't tell him he should do any of that stuff. And while we're at it, Panther's about ready to perform some below-the-belt surgery on you unless you keep your testosterone levels in check. Look, hey, I didn't tell him he should do any of that stuff. And while we're at it, Hawk is about ready to knock your teeth down your throat unless you drop the I'm an ace attitude. Well, let me tell you something. There's a lower asshole tolerance around here, old buddy. You better get with the program. I'll check with you later. You know, that stunt cost us. It cost the border worlds quite a lot. I'm really sorry, sir. We weren't so desperate for pilots. I'd ground you in a minute, but consider yourself on probation. Rest of the decade. There's something particularly cruel. Combat takes the life of someone so young. In this strange war we fight, which doesn't yet have a name. Some may think that Cat Scratch will be forgotten. They're wrong. He'll stay in our hearts. Always. Kid. I can always use some of that. Hey, your Karathi pals are pretty helpful with my cloaker gadgets. You got it working? Yeah, the cat showed me how to get some extra charges out of the crystal that runs it. Problem is, I only got one of them crystals left, so you can forget about having a wingman along. The flying next to a guy who ain't cloaked kind of defeats the purpose anyway, right? And of course, the crystal's still gonna burn out sooner or later. Hopefully later. Personally, I'd like to see us raiding those mines where they dig up those crystals. But they're pretty deep in confed territory. Anyways, care to run with it, kid? Make me invisible, Pliers. <laughs> Your wish is my command, kid. Sorry, Pliers. If I can't depend on it lasting for enough time, then getting stuck with no wingman to cover for me? I don't think so. That's the thanks I get for all my hard work. Forty-six hours. Forty-six? It's only been twenty for me. What? Since I slept. <sighs> no, I'm talking about how long it's been since Captain Eisen left. He hasn't sent a trans, has he? Not a glitch. I hope he makes it. Well, I, for our sake, I hope he does too. I get the feeling that daddy he's carrying ain't gonna cut it. Yeah, it's real thin. But he'll be able to argue his case convincingly. Yeah. What if he argues in front of the wrong people? What do you mean? <gasps> Look. Confed's a much bigger machine than any of us can possibly imagine. That bastard Seether and whoever he's working with can marshal incredible resources. Sure, mercenaries, pirates, Confed craft, our craft. The unmarked ships. Yeah. And all without the rest of Confed even knowing about it. And meanwhile, we come off looking like the bad guys. You get pushed, you push back. Uh -huh. Giving them legitimate cause to gear up for an all-out war. The assembly votes in five days. Yeah, and they haven't got a clue as to what's really going down. Okay, so tell me, how does our little boat fit in? We just gotta hope that Eisen Gets to the right people.
we get ready for the fight of our lives. Roger that. Thanks. I'm ready to review them, Admiral. Now, this is a testing site within an asteroid belt where Confed shakes down their newly built fighters. We'd love to confiscate a few. Second, the ring planet in this system is orbited by a weapons manufacturing plant, another prime target. And finally, we've zeroed in on a carrier, poorly guarded, undergoing some ad hoc repairs near the outermost planet. Now, I'm downloading mission specifics and a pre-recorded briefing for each operation. I'll leave you to size up the tactical situation, Colonel, and make the decision on how to proceed. Good luck. Good. Oh, thanks. All right. This asteroid belt hides a testing ground for Confed's newly built fighters. Now, one hitch is that they've got an electronic moat around the site, including a sophisticated radar device, which should probably be your initial target, if you can sneak up on it. Now, once you've disabled the fighters, we'll send in a cap ship from our fleet to pick them up. We track on their radar. They're going to have all kinds of reinforcements to check us. I wish we could fly invisible. Our leech gun should disable these fighters. All right, people, let's go. The weapons plant orbiting this ring planet has quite a little security blanket. Now, they're sure to see you coming on their radar. But if you manage to clear a path, your Marines can be shuttled in to take control of it. Then we'll be able to collect some of the equipment that our forces urgently need. All right. Go to work. Our Concordia-class carrier is undergoing ad hoc repairs near the outermost planet. Now, a skeleton crew maintains her, but they haven't offloaded any equipment. Fighters, weapons, spare parts could be a rich target, Colonel, if you can get past her radar and fighter patrols. Take out her turrets and engines. Then we'll send in the Hopkins from the fleet to take over. All right, get to it, people. Oh, thanks. Everybody here? All right. Colonel, for a long time we've been trying to suss out an equipment supply line we believe might skirt the edges of this system. Well, it looks like we've gotten a break. A huge convoy is coming through the line. Now, I'm pulling you off the sorties we discussed earlier, and I'm assigning you to the advanced forces raiding this convoy. Now, we'd like to insert a few Marines aboard the largest of the capital ships so they can take control of it. Sounds like we ought to be getting hazard pay for this. You're working for the wrong side if you're looking for bonuses. Decker, we'll use the insertion pods to deliver you and your men. They'll think it's just another missile. Don't forget about picking us up, boss. Uh, shops from our fleet will shuttle in larger forces so we can uh, complete the raid. You're the shock troops. We go or we don't go on your say-so. Understood? Yes, sir. Uh, one other thing. We're picking up some very odd redshift signals from a small artificial satellite circling the fourth planet. Now, we'd like to pluck this thing out of its orbit, take a closer look at it. Good luck. All right. Who wants the tractor and that satellite? I'll volunteer for that one, sir. Any other takers? 
All right, Cat Scratch, looks like the milk run's yours. Let's go, people. Finally feels like we're on the right track, kid. So how'd you like a little extra punch on board for your next mission? I'm listening. Well, we can bang the metal a couple places, open up a little more space, maybe squeeze in another missile or two. Might take a couple clicks off the old Speedo, but it'd sure be nice to have an ace in the hole, huh? What do you say? Finally feels like we're on the right track, kid. Damn shame about that boy. Hell of a job he did. So, uh, how'd you like a little extra punch on board for your next mission? I'm listening. Well, we can bang the metal a couple places, open up a little more space, maybe squeeze in another missile or two. Might take a couple clicks off the old Speedo, but it'd sure be nice to have an ace in the hole, huh? What do you say? I like the sound of that. Good. Well, thanks anyway, but I'd rather have the speed. Fine. All right, Lieutenant. I've given Admiral Wilford a report of what occurred during the last mission, sir. He indicates that another convoy is now moving through the supply line and there are retargeting plans in the works. The same mission, in other words. One more time in the spam cans. Well, you have another option, Colonel. The Admiral is launching a direct attack on the shipyard. Now, some Confed pilots have indicated they wish to defect, but they'll need cover. Now, the first wave from our fleet will be clearing a path. But our task would be escorting the defecting pilots back to the Intrepid. <laughs> it won't be easy telling them from the enemy. We could use those fighters. Colonel, the Admiral feels you're in the best position to decide which operation makes the best use of the Intrepid's resources. Prep the insertion pods. I don't believe in starting something I can't finish. Let's go after that convoy. Let's go for that shipyard and liberate some fighters. All right, let's move. Lieutenant? I've given Admiral Wilford a report of our progress. He's launching a fleet attack on the shipyard. Some Confed pilots have indicated that they wish to defect, but they will need cover. So the first wave from our fleet will be clearing a path. But your task would be escorting the defecting pilots back to the Intrepid, sir. Wait, 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 wait. Won't be easy telling them from the enemy. Yeah, but that's what we came for, isn't it? To get ourselves some fighters. Let's get to it. is this? None of the others have one. Well, didn't go bang. Must have a separate detonator. Real beauties, ain't they? Wouldn't even have to fly. I keep them around just to look at them. <laughs> well, I don't think we want these to be museum pieces just yet. No, I guess not. What's this? I don't know yet. But hey, get a lot of this. Yeah, finally, I get to dig into something that's state of the art. I oh, don't worry, I ain't gonna cannibalize these babies. those intakes? It's got a whole new power plant. Matter, antimatter. Just like the ones running the cap ships. You know what that means. You don't need fuel for an afterburn. The juice comes directly from the power plant. Exactly. Of course, that means that your guns and shields might take a little drain. But for short bursts of afterburners? <laughs> Imagine the speed. Just thinking about it gives me the willies. So, kid, 
In your honor, I could have one of these prepped and ready in no time. You want to take one up on your next stop? You ever think the wrong side might try and shoot me down? Yeah. But that's a small price to pay for unparalleled speed and power. What the hell, pliers? Let's give it a go. <laughs> you got it, kid. I don't know, it seems pretty risky. No one flies them till they're fully checked out. It could be booby trap for all we know. Colonel? Colonel, SOS message comms just come in. If you can hear this, it might not be too late. Unmarked ships are attacking, and many people are dying. We know planet FT-957 is far from any other colony, but if you have any humanity, please send help immediately. Otherwise, our world is doomed. I don't know if this damn thing is working. I have the Admiral. Something terrible has apparently happened in the Telemon system, but we don't know what. Now, you're the closest ship I have to a jump point that'll take you out there. Telemon is such a frontier system that their planets have retained their original discovery numbers. But it's still part of the Border Worlds Union. All systems are equal in our eyes. Now, if there's a fire to put out there, let's do it. Plot us for Telemon. Admiral, any news of Captain Eisen? None, I'm afraid. But I'll keep you posted if I hear anything. Well, for now. Listen up. All right, we're going into a black hole here, people. Not the jamming kind like back on Peleus, but an informational one. Now, FT-957 has sent out a distress signal, and we don't know why. We're going to sweep the area of hostiles and try and suss out the situation if we can. So you're going to want to put me and my boys down on the surface then? Yes. I want you there, because I'll be landing too. What? You people didn't see that woman's face down there. Something awful's happened, and I want to find out firsthand. Now, I want two wingmen to escort Decker's shuttle and return here once we enter a landing pattern. All right? That's it, then. And let's be careful out there. You got it. Roger that. your guns. The black ships are back. Follow me. Here we go. Hold it! Easy! We represent the Union of Border Worlds and Vice Admiral Wilford. We're here to respond to your SOS. That warbird ain't here for no SOS. The ones that did this to us, they were flying those. That is a commandeered craft, you idiots. Check out this insignia. Oh, well, it doesn't matter anyway. You're too late. Only a few of us left. Hold it! We represent the Union of Border Worlds and Rear Admiral Wilford. We've come to respond to your SOS. You're too late. There's only a few of us left. It didn't take long after the bombs dropped. Bombs? Well, this place is still standing. The airstrip's in one piece. It doesn't look like you've been touched. <coughs> the attackers didn't blow up anything, Colonel. They used bioweapons. So no offense, Doc. How come you're still breathing? I've been asking myself the same question. What's the pattern here? This is not random. 
The autopsies have been showing commonalities, things like percentage of body fat, bone brittleness, eyesight, sperm and egg count, everything genetically determined. What do you know about nanotechnology and bioconvergence? Bioconvergence? Well, it's fairly new. That, that about covers what I know. Well, I think the attackers dispersed replicating nanobots into the atmosphere, billions of them. Nanobots? Yeah. Think of them as computers, small as atoms. They get into your body and start a genome comparison of your DNA helix. If they don't like what they find, they start attacking your RNA. Your cells, your cells stop replicating and they begin killing each other. Let me show you. Your body becomes a, a battleground. And in a matter of hours... Oh. So how come we're not like... this? Thank your parents. The nanobots have been programmed to look for certain genetic characteristics. Low body fat, good eyesight, and so on. My guess is they can be e-promed to do anything. Any trigger in the DNA strand will do. You want to, uh, want to weed out the skinny folks in the world? People with iron poor blood? They just tweak the code. They came out of nowhere in unmarked ships. They, they dropped canisters like this. How many of your people were affected? I'd say 90%. This is a ghost planet now, boss. I've seen this a couple times during the war. If the rest of these people don't clear out soon, they'll all be committing suicide in a year or so. Admiral Wilford will get a full report. I'm sure he'll act appropriately. Hard to figure out what appropriate even means if you see something like this. It's a good thing that Kilrathi never figured out this stuff. Colonel. Thank you. Sosa, what are you doing? Well, I'm a pilot. I don't see a flight stick on this thing. Now, this message came in a few minutes ago, and I... We have a breakthrough. Recently, we've been able to link certain elements together. Perhaps we should have tumbled on this during our troubles in the Paleus system. But looking at that again, along with your position when you recently acquired those unmarked fighters, made us go back and examine other recent hotspots. Some complex triangulations have brought us to the calm at the center of the storm. And its name is Axius. Been there, done that, nothing in Axius. Still an educated guess when all is said and done. But accompanying this transmission is everything we have on the Axius system. It's barren, unpopulated, desert planets. Perfect place to stage a massive force. And we've picked up one report of a rather large capital ship moving into the system. Good luck in your investigations. I'm telling you, it's a wild goose chase. If you want to kill some time before things get hot. Axius, here we come. Not quite. Set our coordinates to the system closest to Axius. Yes, sir. We're not all going in until I see what's there. Yeah, I see. Maniac. All right, we're heaving to just outside the Axia system because I don't want to risk this entire ship. It makes me nervous when it looks like no one's home. Lieutenant, what does Wilford's data tell us? <sighs> Planets are uninhabitable, so forces would be space-based, but there's a lot of comets, space debris floating through the system, so they would still have to be pretty mobile. With these new fighters, can't you just go in guns blazing and take them by surprise? And with no idea what's on the other side, that's typical marine tactics. For once, I agree with Hawk. We have to recon first, see what they've got. Right, right. 
Now that's why I want a pair of wingmen to escort me to the jump point leading into the system. They'll peel off, and I'll go in solo. If I'm alone in one of their unmarked ships, I shouldn't attract too much attention while I snoop around. Do you know what wartime protocol is for captured spies, Colonel? Well, you only live once, right? All right, let's go. Typical Marine behavior saved your flyboy butt many times. Outside. in the Telemann system were a rousing success. I congratulate all who were involved. And before we close, I give you our esteemed leader. my fellow soldiers, to commend you on your valiant efforts. You, the Black Lance, will be humanity's first line of defense. Our various enemies of the Confederation have already met with you. <laughs> they know very well what you are capable of. Soon now, I will be able to reveal your existence to all the Confederation, and you will get the praise which you so richly deserve. I also wish to extol the efforts of your great commander. A fine example of what the genetic enhancement program promises for the future.
The strong shall survive. A primary universal law. The species that is weak faces extinction. You know, not so very long ago, our species faced extinction. Now the truth is, our victory over the Kilrathi was not a clear verdict of our superiority. It was a fluke, a temporary purchase of time. We will someday face an enemy far worse than the Kilrathi, and it is our duty to prepare, to remain strong and to remain vigilant. <laughs> Even if that means uh, discarding certain elements for separating the wheat from the child. <laughs> now in the Gen Select device, we have a tool to do the job. We have tested it and we shall use it. <laughs> As you all know, the border worlds are an enemy birthing in our midst. They threaten our unity, our strength, our humanity. We all have a duty. My own is now with the Great Assembly, where I shall ratify the foundation that we have laid. When the moment comes, my fellow soldiers, you must fight, and fight hard. Thank you. you on Tier 7? Rescued only to become a prisoner. And now they're forcing me to create... I know who you are. If they find you, they'll kill you. I got a fire waiting if we can get to it. No, no, no. Come with me. I know the way. Should see this. I should go.
Incoming hollow trans, Admiral. Bad news, Admiral. There's been a security breach. One very persistent colonel, I would expect. Hmm? The same. Always a worthy adversary. The heart of the tiger, that's what the Kilrathi called him. Where are you now? Requesting permission to land, sir. Colonel Blair is undoubtedly back on his ship and preparing to pursue us. Well, the colonel's efforts are too little, too late. I have an appointment with the assembly and a long overdue promotion to accept. Let him try to catch us. Well, what'd you find? Tall one. It was him all along. Son of a... I knew it. You had him too. Hey, Blair. You know that weird discismal I found on that ship? Well, I finally figured it out. Though I still find it kind of hard to believe. At this point, players, you do best to believe anything. Well, that baby packs a hell of a punch. You could take out a capital ship or a building, maybe even an entire installation with that thing. And what's really incredible, it does it from the inside out. Sounds crazy, don't it? Not to me. I've seen them in action. They're called flashbacks. Well, how, do how many do we have? Just the one. But I could rig up a few more in a week or so. There's no time for that now. It's called the Vesuvius. Its maneuverability and acceleration make us look like we're standing still. Right. I saw it when it was under construction, but I just had no idea they could get it online this fast. It's set on the standard jump point route to the Sol system. Ship that large, there's no other option. But a ship our size has other options. Look. And we can take a shortcut through the Elastar system and squeeze through this smaller jump point. Which Tolan is never going to expect. Because right in the middle of the system is a Confed superbase. Exactly. Of course, invading their airspace will attract attention. And then some, I was densely populated. So, we launch a preemptive strike. Players told me about that disc. A flashback? Thousands of civilians would be killed if you use that. The superbase isn't isolated from the rest of the system. We have a chance to stop the war. To save millions of lives, we have to catch Tolan and stop him. Agreed, but hitting them first, I say we make the superbase come after us. Do you have any idea what kind of force they can throw at Look, us? it's gonna be tough getting through. Sure, but using the flashback deliberately causing civilian casualties, that is morally wrong. <sighs> Look, the flashback is off limits. We'll try and outrun them. Look, we have to get through. We'll use the flashback. I think that it's despicable behavior that you would have been talking about. Civilian casualties are acceptable. Night, people. No, they're not. That's enough. Now, this is going to be the hardest mission we've ever undertaken. We're going to escort the Intrepid to this jump point. That means trying to slip past the Ella Superbase. Now, if they come after us, and I can't think of a reason why they wouldn't, it's going to take everything we've got to defeat them. Now, our only other chance is to cause civilian casualties, and that's, well, it's unacceptable. Now, we can do this, people. Maybe we'll just stop a war in the process. All right, let's go. Make such a suggestion.
part of warfare. No, it's not. That's enough. Not when innocent people. No. And we're gonna do something that isn't much to our taste, but it, it's our only chance to stop a war that could cost millions of lives. Now we've got to escort the Intrepid through the Ella system to this jump point. Most of you will cover our ship, and with that diversion, my wingman and I will head down to the super base. I'll carry the flash pack. If we do this right, we could get our shot at Admiral Tallwin. All right, let's move. Good. But the Intrepid is closing. All right, Colonel. Let's make this interesting. Full 180. Sir, we're 15 seconds to the salt jump point. Perhaps you didn't hear me, Helmsman. 180 now. Yes, sir. Boarding jump. When you have a junkyard dog snapping at your heels, the best thing to do is to turn around and kick it in the chops. He's right at the jump point, and he's turning around! Battle stations, scramble everybody! All pilots up now! Come on, come on. Good to see you, Captain. Hell of a communications rig, huh? Well, we don't have time for me to fill you in on everything, so... But now, let's just say that I still have a few friends at Cotton Bed HQ. The ship I'm in is the twin to the Vesuvius. And even these things have a few soft spots. Now, I'm going to dump a whole lot of data on your comm officer, blueprints, IFF codes, the works. As you can see, certain areas of her flanks are somewhat vulnerable. Now, once these turrets are taken out, uh, we'll see if we can't even up the fight a little. Yes, we will, sir. Let's go. if you want. Seems like it'd be just a ticket for taking out the Vesuvius. Only thing is... What is it? Well, I've been studying the specs that Captain Eisen sent us. Yeah. That alloy they use for the skin of the supercarriers. Well, I don't know if the flash pack will work on it from the outside. Seems like your best bet might be to fly inside the Vesuvius and uh, lay the pack down in its innards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a replacement for it. Yeah, firing on the inside should work. Wow. Well. That's what I gotta do. Load her up, pliers. Okay, come on, let's get this out of here. Could be suicide. It's too risky. All right, come on, conventional weapons only. Let's go. Sir, we have an incoming transmission. Well, 
I have to hand it to you, Colonel. Your uh, tenacity has always impressed me. But don't think you can hide behind the shield of the St. Helens any longer. She's taken far too many hits. Never should have been jumping in the first place. <laughs> she wasn't really ready. You may be tenacious, but I'm the one who's invincible. You should know that by now. You won't prevent me from addressing the assembly as Space Marshal. I think it's time to take care of the Colonel. With pleasure. The heart of the tiger. He's always been a thorn in my side. He could have been truly a great warrior. Now he's nothing more than a traitor. surprise for Admiral Talwin and his ship. A little bell ringer called a flash pack, which I intend to deliver personally. Good luck, Colonel. I pray you can do it. All right, people, let's move. We'll all do the best we can, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. The way I see it, if there's any hope of stopping this war declaration, you're going to have to head to the assembly yourself and tell these politicians what you know. Problem is, you're a hostile in this aspect. No doubt Tywin is alerted Terran security. You'll face substantial automated lunar and Terran-based defenses. You got your work cut out for you, Colonel, but I have faith that you can do it. Good luck. You can do it. The assembly is in session. Today we honor a man who has dedicated his life to the protection and defense of humanity. We congratulate him on his promotion to his new post. Space Marshal Polar. Esteemed Senators, um, thank you for bestowing this honor upon me and for allowing me to speak to you before you cast your momentous votes. Well, we can no longer ignore the obvious. The border worlds wage war against us, and we do nothing but issue decrees. We can no longer turn a blind eye. Let me lay out for you some of the more egregious transgressions that have been committed against innocent Confederation civilians. Yes, a formal declaration of war is a very terrible thing. It should not be undertaken unless all options have been exhausted. And I'm afraid to report to you that that is the case. 
We did not fight the Kilrathi for decades just to have an infection hollow us out from the inside. If there is a cancer amongst us, we must cut it out now. I urge you to vote yes on this declaration. Thank you. There is a cancer that needs to be cut out. Seize that man! But it's not on the frontiers of the galaxy, but right here before you! Well, come. This is the great hero of the Kilrathi War, who has betrayed the Confederation and now fights for the Union of Border Worlds. I fight as I always have, on the side of peace and honor. Please, Paladin, hear me out. Seize that man! Cut. May I present to you the hero of the last war, who has forsaken us and now fights for the border worlds. Admiral Tarwin is lying to all of you. Please, Paladin, hear me out. If any man has earned the right to a hearing, it is Colonel Blair. Let him speak. What price freedom, Admiral? I come here to tell you the truth. The truth about what's really happening on the outer fringes of civilization. Please, Colonel. You insult me, as well as everyone else here. Do you really believe that this chamber is that ignorant? No, Admiral. I don't believe anyone here is ignorant, least of all you. Thank you. I simply seek to shed new light on events. I'm saying this assembly has been duped by a charade. An elaborate charade perpetrated by you, sir who requires their ignorance in order to carry out a personal agenda. The border worlds have fallen victim to a plot, which if allowed to proceed will make all of humanity a victim. Well, I suppose there is a strange logic in that. <laughs> well, um, please continue, Colonel. Admiral, do you believe in the concepts of law and order? Of course, I've devoted my life to them. Haven't we all? And you believe these concepts to be the foundation of a strong society? Indeed. Without law and order, we are lost. Do you deny Admiral having anything to do with the troubles on the frontier? Only my efforts to end the troubles to maintain law and order. Law and order. Control. Maintaining the status quo, that's what this is all about. Harmony among men is a secondary issue. Harmony is maintained through control. Was it harmony that made me, as a confed pilot, party to the theft of a border world's laboratory and the outright abduction of a border world's bioconvergence chemist? How you interpret operations, Colonel, is of no consequence. Your job as a soldier is to carry out orders without question. Control at what cost, Admiral? I am a warrior, as you once were, Colonel. I do whatever is necessary for victory without question. Without question? Have any of you questioned the Admiral about his Black Lance forces? Marshal! What are these Black Lance forces he's referring to? An elite force of men that I have assembled to protect our galactic interests. If I may remind the assembly, as commander of the SRA, I'm empowered to marshal whatever forces are necessary to protect our galactic interests. And these forces are stationed at a star base in the Axia system, isn't that right? Well, it is my duty to station forces where they may be needed. 
and the Black Lands have some extraordinary equipment at their disposal. Effective soldiers require effective tools. Would you qualify the Gen Select bioweapon as an effective tool, Admiral? This assembly has never approved the development or use of a biotech weapon. As with any experimental device, I would, of course, have brought it to your attention as soon as it neared readiness. I think the people of Telamon know just how ready it is. The few that are left can speak of a weapon that selectively kills anyone whose physical or, or mental attributes don't measure up to someone's predetermined standards. Telamon's tragedy is still under investigation. But I have no doubt it'll prove to be the doing of the border world's thugs. Yes. The skies are just full of criminals, aren't they, Admiral? It appears so. And hundreds of thousands of innocent lives have been lost in pursuit of these phantoms. Like highly advanced fighters with no markings. Well, prototypes often fly unmarked. Yes. Making it conveniently difficult to identify perpetrators of criminal acts. We have identified the perpetrators. They fly the same colors as you do. The skies are full of criminals, aren't they, Admiral? It appears so. And hundreds of thousands of innocent lives have been lost in pursuit of these phantoms. Admiral. Do you believe the strong always survive? With every fiber of my being. Is that why the head of the Black Lance forces is a product of the genetic enhancement program? That program was canceled years ago. He's more of a warrior than you will ever be, Colonel. He is excellence personified. He is... He is dead. He is symbolic of all that we will achieve in the future. Admiral, do you believe in the supremacy of content? I don't have to. The Confederation's superiority lies in all we have been able to achieve. What is the expense of these achievements, Admiral? The lives already lost to your Black Lance forces? The millions more who will die if this assembly votes for war? Space Marshal Talwin believes that our victory over the Kilrathi was a fluke. That we as a race need tinkering with, engineering. If a few billion die along the way, well, they weren't worthy anyway. Why can't we be more like the Kilrathi, addicted to conflict, the only meaning to life being found in death? Tell us all, Admiral! Is that the price of freedom? Mankind was at his zenith when fighting the Kilrathi. Now our society is crumbling. We have no goals, no focus. We've grown complacent and confused. Who will protect us when the next race tries to dominate us? Who can tell where that threat will come from and when? No, we must be prepared. Progress only comes through struggle. Fighting keeps us fit. Conflict ensures our readiness and our survival. The Kilrathi understood this. They endured for millions of years, and so shall we if we continue fighting. If we continue to perfect our methods of killing. I think we've had enough. The assembly will now vote.
will be no war with the border worlds. This tribunal is now in session. That man has undermined everything. Justice! You saw the results? And I couldn't go on! And it's your fault! Honorable Admiral Talwin. This tribunal finds you guilty of crimes against humanity. Space Marshal Talwin's appeal was denied today. Talwin is now slated for execution tomorrow. an instructor, not a general or a senator, and he could have had everything. Everything means I keep flying, so if you ask me, I've got everything. I envy you, Lenny. At times I wish I'd made the same choice myself. So how's that farm? <laughs> I'm not a farmer. I'm talking about rolling a farmer, not a fighter. Yeah, sure, you know, rolls in training. Of I'm... all people, Maniac taught me one thing. Well, hey, pal, uh, Senator, I... What, what? Well, you said either you're an earthworm or an eagle. I said that? Hey, Colonel! We've got a fresh batch of newbies to shake down. They can wait a bit. I think I'll log some flying time. Senator of a man flying to you. Shut up. The rebellion in Logo 6 seems to be picking up steam. Well, send a carrier in. Have the Black Lance fighters run blanket recon. I should keep them in line. I'll issue the orders. Good night, Admiral. That turncoat. The assembly will now vote. The eyes have it. This assembly votes for war with the border worlds. Your performance.
This is not what I counted on, Colonel. Yes, sir. Perhaps the time away from the cockpits has taken its toll. Perhaps there are other reasons. I wouldn't doubt. None that I'm aware of, sir. Well, you understand that I have no choice here. A fighter craft is a very valuable piece of equipment. It has to be under the command of someone who can fit into it like a glove. The glove hasn't been fitting, has it, Colonel? Perhaps some more time in the flight sim, sir? A little too late for that. I'm afraid I have to take far more drastic steps. I'm stripping you of your commission. Your days in the Space Force are over. You're no paper pusher, so I won't insult you by offering you a desk job. It wouldn't do for the great hero of the Kilrathi War to have sunk to such depths. I think it best to make a clean break. Sever all ties. Thank you, Colonel. Back again, huh? Yeah. Looks like for good this time. Find out how Confed deals with traitors. We didn't have many in the war with the Kilrathi. Take them away. The famous hero of the Kilrathi War, also known as the Heart of the Tiger, was convicted of treason against the Confederation. No appeal will be allowed. A formal declaration of war is a terrible thing. As a soldier, I've seen the horrors of battle firsthand. I wish I did not have to urge this endeavor, but the border worlds continue their campaign of death and deception. The fact that even the great hero of the Kilrathi War has succumbed to the blandishments of these lawless marauders is yet one more sign of the cancer that eats away at us from within. You can slice out that cancer by voting yes on this declaration. The council will now vote. have it. This assembly votes for war with the border worlds.
Blindfold? No. Ready. Aim. Fire. see before you, Colonel Blair, is just one of what will be many victories for the border worlds. Fight hard, Colonel. I hunger for a true challenge. 